making their voices heard. These children are demonstrating against the mobile phone mast which has been put up close to their classrooms. For several months, pupils, parents and teachers have been demanding for it to be removed. As they march around St Mary's Catholic Primary School in Gillingham, officials from Vodafone are locked in talks with Medway Council. And this is what they're discussing. A mobile phone mast just yards away from the school. It's the carers and all the children here. Um, the, 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 the medical evidence says that ch children, because they've got smaller um, skulls, are more, more vulnerable uh, to radiation. And as a consequence, it, it's, it's all the more important that we, we keep them safe. She's our only, our only child. She means everything to me. And uh, you know, I'd never forgive myself if anything happened to her. The mask was put up by Vodafone earlier this year to improve 3G coverage in the area after it was given the go-ahead by a government planning inspector. The company says its base stations operate in accordance with stringent international guidelines. So far, neither Vodafone nor Medway Council, who opposed the original applications, have been able to come to an agreement on the best way forward. So the demonstrations carry on. I think what's wrong with the system at the moment is the planning system, which means that local residents and concerns are overridden by a planning director in Bristol. I think the whole issue with about planning laws has to be changed, has to be re-looked at, because local people should be able to decide their own destiny. Vodafone has now agreed to look at other possible sites, but until the mast is moved, these children will carry on taking to the streets in protest. Tom Savides for Meridian Tonight.